Hi, it's James here from Kimberly IT. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can assign tasks to teammates through Google Workspace using Google Chat. This video is actually an update of a previous video on the channel. It's just Google has changed the UI and renamed some of the elements on the screen. So I'm redoing the video so it makes sense when you follow it. So it should be up to date as of November 2023. So this is how you do it. First off, you need to go to Google Chat at chat.google.com and then under the spaces section, click the plus icon and create a new space. So let's call this space tasks, makes sense. So that's what it's gonna be used for. Uh, you can give it an emoji, so pick an emoji. Um, I don't know if there's a task one, let's have a look, see if there's anything about tasks. Maybe we can do a, uh, a dartboard with a pinpoint on it. Um, then add the people you want to, to this uh, chat space, your teammates. You can also add now a group email address. So if you've got your teammates in a group email address, you can add that rather than adding them each individually. So let's just stick some people in here. I'm going to stick in Joseph, I'm going to stick in uh, Elena, and I'll stick in Kyle for fun. Um, so I'm going to stick them in this task group. Um, under the advanced section, I'm going to leave it how it is, uh, because that's the way I want it to be set up, but you may want to restrict it or restrict what can be done on here. So if you're a manager of a team, you might just want to make it so only you can post the tasks and they can't. That might be a bit limited, limiting, so I wouldn't do that straight away, and you'll see why in a bit. So once you've done that, hit create, and that one I create the room called tasks. So now once you've got the chat space created, across the top you'll see there's three options, chat, files and tasks. So what you want to do is go to the task section when you want to assign a task to somebody. So click on tasks, then click add a space task. So you need to give the task a title, it could be something like send proposal to lead. And you can put some details in there of what needs to be done. You could even put a link to a document and stuff like that in there. You can set a date and time. So in this case, let's say we want it for the 17th of November. Uh, we're not going to set a time. We just want it to be done by the 17th of November. But if I do set a time, it will appear on the other person's calendar and in their task list with the time as well. At the moment, with it just set as the day, it will still appear. It just won't have a time link to it. So click OK. Then pick the person you want to sign it to. Well, we can sign it to Alina on this one. And then we're going to click Add. So what that has done now, it's created a task. It's also appeared in her task list down the right hand side. So this is our task for my account. But on her account, she'll now have a new task with send proposal to lead and you'll have the date in there and you'd also have the time if I put a time in there. And you'll also have any links to any documents that I put in the details section when I was creating the task. If we go back to the chat area, you'll see that it's now created a task for Elena to send a proposal. That's fantastic. And because we made it so that it wasn't only us that could post in this chat room, Elena could actually start a thread on this uh, task if she needs to ask any questions. So she might want to say, I, I like, might ask uh, Joseph, um, can you provide the numbers? Hit enter and that's gone through to me. And you can see it's all linked to that task now. So if we go back to the main chat room, you'll see in the thread that that reply is linked to the actual thread for that task. So you've got a bit of a history there, what's going on on the task. When Elena um, ends that task, completes the task, marks it as a tick, it will just put a line through it on here that's been completed and again in the task list there will also be a line going through this to say it's completed so for example I'm going to complete it for her you can see it's now crossed it out it's gone into this completed section at the bottom of Google Chat if we go back to the chat tab you'll also see here under the replies that it's now been completed so it's marked as complete so you've got a whole history of what happened with that task and that's how you create a task room in Google Chat and assign tasks to people using Google Chat with the November 2023 edition of the UI. I'll probably be redoing this video again in the future because they're constantly updating the UIs at the moment, but that's how you can do it now. 